What's up guys, it's Volka and welcome to a new build guide video. So this is the Bleed Falconer build that I've been cooking. Uh, lots of single target damage on this build, builds so really high damage. Uh, it's also quite tanky uh, with the shield and you know you can go max block, decent armor, decent dodge, a uh, good amount of HP and um, glancing blow as well. But the highlight is the single target damage for sure. So as you can see we're really like shredding these endgame bosses here, T4 bosses. Uh, so T4 Chulra, T4 Arbor, uh, not a problem at all. Uh, this is something that, that has to be nerfed in the next patch, hopefully. Th the damage is just, just too, too much. Uh, so we also have a Shade kill here, at, this is at 600 corruption, so... Um, no no problem at all, like, going high corruption with this build uh, should be quite easy. Uh, you will be limited by the tankiness eventually, but uh, damage will never be an issue. And it's also really easy to get the damage, so you don't need, like, insane gear. Right, so let's hop into an echo here. So this is uh, 630 corruption, and uh, let's see how it plays. So this also, apart from the damage, is also really just like a fast build to play with. So what you just do, you basically kind of play like an auto bomber, because uh, most of your abilities are instant cast, and um, yeah, you basically one shot everything. Uh, so of course you use aerial assault for movement, and then um, falcon strikes is your main damage ability. So that's the Falcon skill, and um, then Die Bomb for some extra AOE while clearing, and um, really just like a easy easy build to play. Uh, not really, you don't have to think too much while you play this, especially in Monolith. Bosses need a bit of thinking because you need to execute your rotation. But uh, yeah, the, this this is how the uh, Monolith gaming looks, and the way this build works, um, we're basically fully scaling bleed, and most of the damage is going to be from the minion. We do bleeds our ourselves also, but the main damage is the minion, of course. So Falcon gets uh, up to 550% of our bleed chance to uh, to Falcon uh, as as its bleed chance. So basically 5.5 times the value uh, for the bleed chance. So really, like you can scale it extremely high. Um, just a lot of damage and uh, die bomb. You can you can use die bomb to basically. Get instant bleed, so you apply a lot of a lot of uh, bleed sacks, and then you instant bleed them uh, with uh, with a dive bomb. So that's that's mainly for bossing, because you don't really need to use use it for that uh, that reason in, in Monolith, because I mean you one shot the enemies anyways. And yeah, so main, mainly uh, we just like build around and and um, and play in a way to uh, buff the Falcon. So we use net. Uh, and cal drops and, and puncture uh, at the same time. So we're proking puncture for, from the net. And we're also getting a bunch of cal drops from aerial assault and also the net. So those give the falcon a lot of bleed chance and just like extra bleed stacks uh, and um, you know stuff like physical shred and all that stuff. So all of the other skills are, are mostly utility, even though you do, uh, of course, bleed damage yourself as well. And um, you can also leech off of your own uh, bleed bleed damage. So of course that helps for the, the sustain. Because we are using the, the bulwark of the Abyss shield, which drains our HP, but uh, you have a lot of lot of HP on hit and, and decent leech as well on, on this uh, build, so it's basically no downside on that on that shield. So for the tankiness, like I said, we use a shield, uh, and you can get up to max block chance. You can get about 50% block effectiveness, of course depends on the gear you have. So for tankiness you need gear, basically. Um, you want to build HP, you want to build block, you want to build armor, all that stuff, dodge trading. A glancy blow, all, the, all, the, all that stuff. But sadly, we can't really go low life with this because, um, yeah, like I said, we have a lot of HP on hit uh, from the gloves and uh, uh, on the passives also. Of course, the passives we could we could uh, unspec, but uh, the gloves are basically mandatory for the damage. So low life is sadly not really possible because we will always be full life. Uh, and so w ward is sadly not really uh, a, a thing with this build, uh, but you can still be decently tanky and. Um, go quite high. I'm sure 1k corruption will be uh, basically a no problem at all. Yeah, so how does the build work? Um, we're basically, um, of course, Falcon is the main damage, like I said, so this is the big thing here. Um, the element chance to Falcon hits uh, 200%, so 200% of your bleed uh, chance is gonna be on the Falcon, so basically double, double the value and then you get the gloves. Uh, this is like the most Important item for endgame, so just get the gloves. You don't need LP on anything, by the way, but uh, just just to have them, and you know they give you uh, triple triple the bleed chance to Falcon as well. So they stack, of course, with the with the passive node. Uh, so that's the five times, and then you also have uh, have this here for the extra fifty percent uh, conversion or uh, uh, yeah added basically. 
because you do still keep your own play chance as well. And uh, otherwise, these gloves also nice physical penetration, dexterity, and stuff like that. So we're stacking a lot of dexterity, basically, a uh, lot of lot of synergy, basically for dexterity. The main thing for damage is um, is things, this thing here for on aerial assault. And how, how this buff works? Basically, you get Falcon Plea chance per dexterity, uh, and every time you apply Cal drops, uh, you get a, a stack of this buff for your Falcon. So it is it is uncapped this node, uh, of course, um, just like it's usually classic. So you can you can stack it forever. Uh, of course, it has a duration for five seconds, but you know you can stack it for a very very uh, just many stacks basically, depending on your uh, throwing attack speed and you know stuff like that. So. What you can basically do, you know, each time, each time, each time the caltrops uh, apply, uh, you get a stack, and then then you uh, use falcon strikes, so you get all the bleed chance, then you use dive bomb to um, basically consume all the bleeds at once. So that's the main idea of the of the build. And yeah, overall the skills, so of course falcon uh, getting the maximum more damage that we can. So these will these will apply to the bleeds applied by the falcon, so lots of more damage. You get even get more damage per, per level, you get more damage per dexterity. We're stacking a ton of dexterity, by the way, on, on this uh, character. So you can get uh, 100, 130 and more, uh, depending on the gear you have. And um, yeah, all the more damage, then you get the nice cooldown stuff here. So you can use Falcon, Falcon Strikes more. Uh, you can convert your, uh, or a portion of your highest uh, increased damage uh, is going to be applied to the Falcon. Uh, then you get more strikes for the Falcon strikes, so you want to be hitting many times for more bleed stacks of course this is pretty nice for the mana gain hp gain so we have a lot of lot of hp on hit uh, for many many different sources and uh, then kill threshold really good for bossing and yeah on aerial assault the, yeah the main thing is the is the rending barbs node the bleed chance of course and we also got some extra caltrops so caltrops on aerial assault caltrops uh, basically second one also here and then some more damage for the caltrops slow chance and um, this is also quite nice, so you you can reduce the cooldowns of the uh, of your Falcon strikes and dive bomb uh, per maximum mana you have. So quite nice. And then uh, just like extra points here to get here. So we we want to get the more global dodge rating while traveling. Uh, there's not that many good points to take here other than this. So this makes a lot of sense. It's kind of like a kind of like a mini immunity. Uh, so. Uh, you can be a bit more, uh, you know, tanky um, when you're uh, traveling. You could also go for the cooldown here, of course, if you want to be even faster. And yeah, the last Falcon ability, so the dive bomb, so mostly used for the instant bleed here. So basically, you press this button and you, you know, consume all your bleed stacks instantly. That's why. That's also why building bleed duration is super nice, because you know we actually get the benefit basically always, even if the boss wouldn't die or, or wouldn't live as long as the bleed duration. We actually you know, get the full value always, so we get instant damage. Uh, all, almost turns it into a hit build, uh, like a, in terms of feeling, because yeah, you, you don't have to wait for the dots to, to tick. And some extra crimson shout, so just more uptime on the on, on this buff. Keeps you bleach, and basically quite nice. And uh, some some you basically need, need to get this reduced delay here, so it's nicer to use. Of course, more damage also is always nice, but. Uh, the delay is the main thing. Then cooldown, uh, so a lot of lot of uh, cooldown reduction on this thing. So very 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 low uh, cooldown, and then uh, you can also reduce the cooldown when you uh, spam your net uh, with this passive. And then this the rest of the stuff, stuff is kind of like just extra. Uh, you get extra hits here, so uh, you know more bleed stacks might as might as well. And then uh, the movement speed is quite nice with this, so you get like a stacking, uh, you know, like a talon blades buff when you hit. Uh, multiple enemies at once, so you get you have five stacks to uh, get the movement speed, quite nice. And then on the net, so it's basically what we spam in between the cooldowns, especially on bosses, uh, so it's, it's the main way we, how we get caltrops and how we apply the uh, the rending barbs buff as well. So caltrops, of course, all the caltrops cal you can get, so maximum on these. And then uh, this is also very strong, so 40% more global damage to Falcon. Of course, applies to the bleeds, amazing, and you even get some uh, DR here for from uh, physical damage, quite nice, and uh, some bleed chance for the net itself, and uh, the more more damage for net and bleeds. Uh, so these are these are kind of nice. I mean, of course, this won't apply to the Falcon, but uh, it's kind of nice to do some damage on your own as well. Might as well, you know, there's, it's kind of like just extra damage, so kind of nice. And then on, on uh, we also proc puncture with this, so we actually convert this into a trap. And uh, we proc puncture here uh, with the trap. So of course the puncture is a melee attack since we are using a melee weapon. 
and um, you can you can get uh, extra traps thrown here if you if you want. Uh, if you if you uh, if the mana cost is too high for you, you can you know maybe spec only one point here. You don't need to go for maximum. Uh, you know like three tra three traps thrown at once. Even even two is fine. And to puncture, so uh, ba basically just for buffing or like utility and stuff, uh, debuffing the enemies with, with physical threat and you know getting some extra bleed on the puncture itself and get, you get frenzy here also so this also works with uh, uh with the uh, procced puncture as you can see we get uh, we get frenzy here so that's quite nice and you get uh, this uh, here you get 10 percent uh, increased damage over time taken on the enemies so uh, very nice debuff so some other things on the on the on the puncture so th this does not work if we proc the puncture so uh, you would get like a huge bleed buff here if you directly use it uh, I tried testing this, uh, so basically, you know, I uh, uh, just use it like like this, you know, basically like a melee skill on bosses, like pre-stack it, and then only after that you would start like um, basically stacking the caltrops and, you know, actually doing the damage. It seems really, really like clunky to me, and I'm not sure if it's actually like uh, really more DPS in the end, because, yeah, you need to pre-stack uh, uh, six stacks of, of this Bleeding Fury buff here. But this bleed just would be applied to the Falcon, uh, but uh, I, don't, I don't feel it's worth it. And it, if it if it is worth it, it would only be for bossing, uh, you know. So, but that's some, something you could do maybe um, as an option. And then um, this thing here, so this um, third puncture deals more damage thing, sadly does not work with the um, with the uh, with the uh, trap uh, proc. So uh, this would also give you another way to get instant bleeds. So every third puncture would would instant, or yeah, would consume consume the bleeds instantly. Of course, we get it on on die bomb anyway, so it, it's not a huge deal. And then there's a bit of more damage on the puncture itself, so uh, the bleeds are a bit stronger on it. And yeah, for the passives, uh, pretty basic rogue stuff here. Uh, so of course, getting all the haste, uh, less damage taken, uh, cleansing blow. We want to get as much dexterity as possible on this build. So um, yeah, we're getting all the dexterity. Uh, of course, all the cleansing blow, dexterity again. And um, on the Falcon tree itself, uh, yeah, uh, getting all the good points, haste, crimson shroud. So you also get the crimson shroud here on on Falcon hit. Uh, so pretty high uptime on this buff. So yeah, bleed chance less damage over time taken. Dexterity once again. So and, and this is also another um, reason why dexterity is so good. So we also get block effect per dexterity. We also get armor per dexterity. So lots of lots of uh, synergy on the dex stacking. Uh, yeah, so we get five points here for the bonus. And then only four points here, so we want to keep our uh, block chance, of course. Uh, we, want to have, we want to have both cleansing blow and block chance, so four points for the block. And uh, yeah, th then dexterity, uh, a, bit, a bit more HP gain on, on hit, quite nice. The instant cast for Falcon ability, so Falcon strikes, type bomb, instant cast, easy. Um, and this is also quite nice for, for tankiness, so uh, frailty stacks from Caltrop, so it's you're basically gonna, gonna always have max frailty on enemies uh, so just need to hit them with the caltrops once you, you get max stacks uh, so this would be optional if you if you don't care about this you know you could go for like i don't know hp or something of course a bit more dex you can get one more point there or maybe, maybe attack speed also could be nice for uh you know you can stack up uh, faster with the net for example but i quite like this and then of course the uh, bleed bleed applies to falcon 50 percent and then um uh extra 10% cleansing blow and you also get some uh, basically double cleansing blow if not hit recently and uh, this is also very just crazy note uh, so less damage take on moving move speed dodge rating all of this will be doubled basically always because you know it's on recent falcon hit so basically always doubled these values uh, yeah so th those, are, those are the passives pretty much and yeah so the gear on this build gloves uh, the main thing um, so the most important unique along with the chest so this is a very common common uh, unique here so you get minion bleed duration minion chance to bleed so the bleed duration is absolutely crazy because of course we have the instant bleeds so very strong very common item is to get with lp um getting the uh, reduced crits is here quite important so uh, you don't want to really build crit avoidance on, on the build so instead we're going for the reduced bonus damage taken uh, of course not mandatory you can al al also get it, get it on the boots implicit for example the uh, the reduced grids and yeah the, the gloves so they grant bleed chance to falcon give a lot of dexterity 
and you know HP gain per dex plus the Falcon physical pen lo lots of like the it's just overstated item basically and it's not super rare it's pretty common actually and uh, uh, pretty like reasonable LP level so you can you can expect a lot of LP on these as well and uh, the boots kind of basic bleed boots that give nice stats uh, of course keep in mind the bleed duration is only for you so increases the duration of bleeds you inflict so it, it, it would not apply to the, the falcon only your bleed chance will apply to the falcon not the bleed duration but it's still nice to have and uh, these are actually one of the fastest boots in the game because you know they have a lot of movement speed on them and then you get the, the lp on them also and the strength dex int also nice stats and uh yeah so just a basically nice boot to have and, and for, for the belt so this you want to have lp on be, 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 before this belt you can just use like a praetorian belt for armor for example uh so to, to give you a bleed chance movement speed throwing attack speed um, so you can easily get like three lp on this uh, quite easily common item also uh, so keep in mind every every chance to bleed on hit affix is extremely valuable uh, because of the conversion or the uh, grant to falcon affixes and uh relic here just a, a basic rupee dice so nice space with the bleed chance mine is of course very bad uh, so I, I don't really have like super nice gear for tankiness my um uh, my dps is quite okay though but uh, you know this is of course of course has like just useless suffixes for example uh, i don't have capped endurance either for uh, you know at the moment and yeah the, the bulwark here so uh, this is quite nice of course so i have an absolutely max rolled shield so maybe one of my best, best uh, gear pieces so i have 96 block chance at the moment so i'm missing i'm completely missing the suffixes on the rings so you want to have uh, block chance suffixes on the rings then you of course don't need to have exactly max rolled shield uh, to get the max block and you can also get block chance here on the gloves as a suffix uh, so that would be nice to get at least on the rings otherwise yeah just like stacking dexterity on everything you can because uh, yeah dexterity is damage and defense at the same time so the best possible that we can get throwing attack speed also nice on the on the rings uh just make the gameplay smoother and yeah you can you can step stack more cal drops as well and stuff like that so uh that's also nice you can also get throwing attack speed on the gloves of course and uh yeah dexterity on chest as an as an extra and um uh this helmet so ideally you would want want to use this helmet base here uh, for the leech because uh, this this will actually uh, this is actually very strong uh it, of course this is um basically your your caltrops will just like keep leeching for you as long as they're hitting some enemies and all, all the bleeds you have going on and stuff so lots of bleed chance from uh, uh, lots of uh, leech chance for this uh just uh, help with the shield basically so i would rather go for this base instead of the bleed duration damage over time base this doesn't really do that much but uh, I don't have a good one yet, so... Mm. And then Omnis, that's just an easy res, res cap. You don't have to use Omnis, you can use a bone amulet that I have on the planner. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but Omnis is, of course, nice to have. Easy easy resistance cap. Um, the plus one skill is also quite nice, but not really, like, necessary. Uh, and you might be able to get this now with LP as well. So get some get some HP on it. And uh, for, for the weapon, Dragon Bone Axe so lots of chance to bleed on hit from the implicit and then you should also get like a t7 chance to bleed so mine is quite bad uh, this axe so of course increased physical damage does not work for the falcon uh, so it's only for your your own uh, uh, damage so you definitely want to get a t7 bleed chance here and uh, you know stuff like that idols are basically just like full hp because basically you don't need more damage at all um, i mean don't like there's re really like amazing idols anyway for damage but you still want to get as much hp as possible and for blessings bleed chance uh amazing blessing of course so that's a lot of bleed chance and uh you can go hp or, or voidress here uh, depending on the omnis you have or if you even even run omnis uh, so Voidress would be more, uh, like, better, basically, just, like, more optimal. But I, I have uh, Voidress here on my on my ring, so I have a HP for now. And here you can go for Lightning Rest if you need it, or you can go for a Health Region. Health Region would, would be quite nice, because uh, it just helps, helps again with the shield uh, HP drain, so you want to be, uh, basically, max HP as much as you can, of course. And the Block Chance, so pretty much mandatory for for the block um there's a lot of, you know a lot of block chance block, block effect uh so my my block effect is very low at the moment so you can get this much higher again with the ring suffixes glove suffix and then 
maybe if you get a 2 LP shield with block effect also, that would be really nice. So you can get up to like 50% uh, quite reasonably. And then armor uh, as the last blessing. Yeah, so I made a few planners here. So four different planners, kind of like a progression of gear. Uh, so um, you can start with just like basic uniques, no LP needed, you know, just rare items. That's also already going to be like really good. Uh, it's also a very strong build, so you don't need much gear. Uh, then getting into a bit of LP on the easy items, you know, getting the reduced here and stuff like that using the bleed boots. Uh, so the end game planner is pretty much what I have in game. Of course, I have way less HP and you know less block effect and stuff like that. So I have worse worse gear, but um, I kind of have something like this. Uh, so on, on this one, of course, we have the suffixes for block chance. You know, um, getting everything in the right places, getting uh, uh, close to capped endurance and um, full HP on the idols. Uh, you can get early rest on the idols also on suffix, so quite nice. Of course, Omnis is completely. Um, Optional, so you can go for like a bone amulet. Uh, you can also get dot trading on bone amulet, which is, which is quite, quite nice. And um, then I made an aspirational planner for like you know giga gear basically, so double red ring. So we can we can actually easily hit the 180 attributes that you need for this. So um, would be a lot of tankiness, the, you know, 20% less damage taken basically, and because uh, you have two rings and then uh, also the dot trading. Uh, so like a lot of tankiness for, from these easy. Easy resistance cap with Omnis and two rings, so uh, all rests and you know, so very, very easy. And then using the anchor for uh, just capped endurance and um, lots of armor from like strength and, and all that stuff. So, uh, of course, this would be like a you know, you need LP on, on everything basically. And uh, I guess you can use red rings without LP as well, uh, you, you will lose a bit of dexterity, but you still get the plus five attributes. But, um, but yeah, this would be like a kind of like a theoretical max gear uh, that you might. Uh, maybe get at some point. Of course, getting the shield with more than one LB is quite strong. So uh, this 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 planner is actually very tanky. So almost like five k HP and uh, you know decent armor. Of course, keep in, keep in mind this is gonna be like more with the uh, armor per dex and stuff like that, which which does not show here at the moment. So and all the all the buffs like the uh, the tailwind here and all that stuff. So I don't, you know you can dodge trading and all that stuff. So these would be actually even higher. So th this one is gonna be super tank actually at this point needs a lot of gear though so it's, it's an option you can go for right so the build is not hard to play but uh, for verb process you need to be having like a nice rotation to max out the damage so first you stack the caltrops and then you basically falcon strikes and then die bomb so that's basically the rotation then you aerial assault when stuff is on cooldown so you basically want to get your cooldowns back as fast as possible you spam of course always in the middle uh you spam your net whenever you can and that's basically what you continue doing and you always instant instant bleed with the die bomb so that, that's the idea and keep in mind you do have culling of course on the on the on the falcon strikes so the last usually the last part of the hp bar will be just culled you know, so basically, yeah so but uh, that, that's the rotation there and um as i was talking about the helmet here the leech as you can see i'm leeching quite a bit here so so like um, if you if you don't use the falcon at all, as you can see, I lose HP, but I leech it back really fast as well. So of course your bleeds will just continue to uh, deal damage for you. This is damage le leached as health, so it works for damage over time as well. So you don't you don't need to cover stuff like the chalice uh, chalice uh, relic, for example. Uh, I know many people have. Uh, said that would be like a nice item to use, but no, you don't you don't need to go for this. There's no no need to, and um, you even get the same bleed chance basically on the on the rare uh, base or the exalted base. Uh, so we don't need to leech from this at all. Of course, if you have like four LP, sure you can go for it. Why not? So yeah, that's the build. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe for more high quality last tip of content. And yep, see you in the next one.